like you well. I hope you're all okay. Um, I'm afraid I have no finished objects to show you this week. So what I will do, I'll show you the objects that I'm working on at the moment. Um, I decided to take my jacket to my local knitting group to work on there as well as the scarf that I will show you. Um, otherwise it would never have got done. So what I do, I work a few rows on my scarf and then I just change, swap over and work a few rows on the jacket. And it seems to be working out fine, at least they're both growing. They're not growing fast but they are growing, that's the main thing. Um, this is the scarf I'm working on. As you can see I made a lot of progress and the yarn is changing its colours from dark to a lighter, to a lighter and lighter still. It doesn't show that it's merging the dark yet. Um, but it's getting there and it's, it's a beautiful design. See the effect and it has like ridges there and there. And of course at the beginning it was um, there. So it has a little ripple effect. Like a wave effect. So beautiful. And on the other side it's or like the pearl side. Still a beautiful effect. And that's more like a, a ridge than a trough, like on the other side. This is the jacket I'm making and as you can see I've done one full pattern repeat. Um, that's 36 rows from here to here. So that's coming on really nicely and I'm so glad I ended up stopping and changing to this yarn because it's so right for it. Isn't that beautiful? So we have the, the cable there and the cable there. And over on this side it's a double moss stitch. Remember last week when I showed you this yarn and I said it was telling me not to make it a hat. I said please don't make me a hat, make me something else. So I started on the something else and I was a bit secretive about it. That was largely because uh, there was a lot of stop start, stop start. Well it's underway now and I'm really excited about it. I'm feeling quite emotional as well that I could cry because it's working out so well. So I'll show you what I've been making. It's called Spring Crescent Shawl and I forgot the name of the design but I will put the link in the description box. So if you start at that end, you work up, all the while doing increases both here and here. And it's working absolutely beautifully. Um, I have these stitch markers largely for my reference because that's where I do one of the increases. And this is where I go from half double crochet to double crochet and I just, earlier on I was having difficulty differentiating, I mean now I can tell because there's clearly a pattern and this is half double crochet in the back loop, it's absolutely beautiful. So there's, there's the edge, absolutely beautiful isn't it? And this yarn is so incredibly soft, there's the ridges there for the half double crochet. So I'm not even halfway around yet. Do you know, it's really strange. I should have filmed this video first and then watched other people's videos because I've just seen Margaret's. And I was really surprised. We've both been focusing on the divine hat. Um, I can't show you a divine hat here and now because the one I made I sent up to my mum for Christmas. But we obviously both had the same idea of using that crown to increase. Because I do know what I call the Bob Wilson method, um, increasing in the crown, which is absolutely fantastic. I wanted to do something different and for inspiration I went to the Divine Hat. But I didn't want to increase in a swirl. I wanted to increase straight. And I was just so surprised that Margaret had the same idea. She was looking at the same hat and seeing what she could do differently. This is the hat I've begun. Um, this is the crown completed, it's 
increased exactly the way I wanted it. Um, and I'm going to do the pattern from the stitch from the book. That's what I have in mind. I, um, I didn't find a pattern for this anyway. I just, it was, like I said, it was based on the divine hat, but I didn't want it to swirl around, so I didn't do the increases where they were on, on that, that pattern. I just spread them up between the segments and it worked. It worked exactly how I wanted it to. So I was really quite pleased with that so far. So I hope the rest of the hat goes according to plan. And I, of course I'll show you when I've finished it. And there was something else, you, if you look at Margaret's video of Margaret Alanda, she was she made a hat and continued the front post double crochets, or was it half double crochets? Well the front post stitches all the way down the hat. And a while ago I had the idea to do that but with fewer stitches. But I frogged it because it looked like a big top. <laughs> and then I proceeded with a different pattern anyway. Margaret's definitely didn't look like a big top. Hers looked absolutely fantastic. It was really weird how, you know, across the pond different times, you know, we just have the same ideas about things, we're thinking about the same things. and It's just the world over, isn't it? It can happen to anybody. It's, wow. We're just all brilliant, aren't we? That's what it is. I would like to end this video by thanking my younger son Andy for creating my intro for my YouTube channel, as you all will have seen. Um, if you would like to see more of his work, please click the link above and check out his YouTube channel. And if you want to contact him, as you, you'll be able to see his contact details in my description below. Alright, have a nice weekend everybody. Take care. Bye bye.